Hey Deckers, Starfield is finally here, and the fact that this even runs at all on the Steam Deck is actually a feat in itself. However, I do think that this is going to be playable. Now, you will have to bear with me, this is a bit of a mixed bag as some of the performance can dip quite a lot, but just look at some of these sequences, especially the takeoffs and landings, they are just so gorgeous, even on the Steam Deck. And this video will not do it justice, it does look 10 times better on the Steam Deck screen itself. Up in space, frames per second is not an issue, it holds well over 30 very happily, even in space combat, so I do feel like this is going to be a good one to play on the Steam Deck, although it still does need a couple of updates. With the FSR mode not being selectable, it's kind of a fixed mode right now, it definitely needs a few tweaks. But because this is out in the early access at the moment, we can see that this is going to get a ton of updates. Now, this didn't launch out of the box, even though I am running the SteamOS 3.5 beta, it did still need to run with Proton Experimental. So if you are not running under the beta, they have now dropped a update to the driver, which should fix this crashing issue. Although I'm still hearing a lot of reports that it's still crashing. So make sure you run Proton Experimental on this one. And if the stable channel doesn't work, then you will need to switch over to the OS beta. Now it isn't all fantastic news. When you hit Alpha Centauri, it does get a little bit laggy, dropping down even with our best settings here down into the low 20s. However, it's not all of the time. It is while you're running through some of the really heavy populated and beautiful looking areas. However, even though it's only down at 20 frames per second, it doesn't feel absolutely horrendous. Now, other areas where it does drop down into the 25 range doesn't actually feel like it. And if you didn't have the frames per second counter up, you wouldn't actually notice, I don't think. You'll see that this is absolutely gorgeous. The photo mode is phenomenal. Our recommended settings for this one at the moment are to go with the low preset, keep dynamic resolution on with the render scale at 80%. You'll need to manually set this as it sets it to 50% by default. Keep the upscaling on FSR2, VSync on, and sharpening at around 50%. You can toggle that a little bit more with VRS on and film grain completely off. With those settings, you'll bounce between 30 and 50 frames per second depending on the scenario. And when you interface with the NPCs, you get a crystal clear image and it looks absolutely phenomenal. This is our first impressions. We will be looking at how this game progresses. But the combat, especially in this game, is absolutely flawless. And because you're inside a lot of the time, you don't get any of that resolution scaling. And it looks absolutely crystal clear. As we progress through the game and we get some of the updates, we will revisit the settings on this one and keep you guys up to date. This being a very early first impressions, we can't wait to see how well this game progresses. But I would say that it's going to be playable on the Steam Deck at this time. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving in early or whether you're going to be waiting for the full release, as well as potentially streaming it via Xbox Cloud Gaming as it's not currently available on GeForce Now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.